What's going on YouTube? It's CC coming again with another video. And if you're new here, we talk about cybersecurity. Um, I give out tips for building home labs, um, my experiences, my experiences in cybersecurity, and you know, all of the above. I'm mean, in a lot more coming. Um, but in this video, I want to talk about the mentality and mindset for a SOC analyst and what I feel in my personal opinion is you know important to be able to succeed you know especially from what i've learned and what i've seen um so let's say for example here's a scenario let's say that um we have a file that we have to investigate let's say the file is named malicious.exe right so we get the shot of this file and then we start to investigate so we plug this file into virus total. Um, we plug this file into Talos or um, any of these places that can help us gather more information on this file. Let's say that we plug this file in and it has a high amount of hits for being malicious. So, okay, that's one. Um, the AV community says that this file is malicious. So hmm, now we do a bit you know, we, we, we dig deeper because we, we don't just go off face value, right? We want to, you know, gather more information. So let's say on this same device, we see another file that's named info stealer.exe. So, Hmm. We have one file named malicious.exe, then info stealer.exe. And these files are, let's just say quarantined um, or found on a, on a domain controller, um, which is like a server in the middle of the night. So now we have two malicious files. We have it being located on a domain controller on a server, which is the most important computer in an environment. And then the AV community says that it's highly malicious. Let's just say it has 70 hits out of a hundred. And then we do a Google search and we see that there is a new, um, you know, there are, there's a new campaign out and these files, info stealer.exe and malware.exe are prevalent and are the tools that are being used in this you know this campaign so now we have enough information to be able to say that this is there is malicious activity going on or getting ready to go on and if we can take action now we can stop um this computer from being infected we can we can just save the day so now we're able to go in and save the day um, we have to take action on this and this is just an example scenario of, you know, being able to connect the dots. We have a malicious file. We have it being on a server. And then the AV community is saying that it's malicious. And and the campaign is being used to steal data and, you know, it's ransomware. Let's say, let's just say. Now, now that we have correlated all of this data, now we have to make an informed decision. And, and if there was me investigating this, which it was, it's malicious activity. And this is instantly going to be a critical alert, high, um, a high alert, whatever it's named in your sock. And now we're going to um, isolate this device where all of this, you know, activity is happening on. And then we're going to proceed with, you know, however, um, you respond to incidents in your environment, whatever your SOP says. Um, but I wanted to highlight the importance of this kind of mentality because, and it gets a lot deeper than this, but you want to be able to be able to correlate data. And all of this is, 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 um, all of this is, it's like a story. Look at it all as a story. 
so we have the files we have the place that it's happening at um the time of the night that it's happening and then, then there's a new campaign out and we see this so now boom 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 we're telling a story and we have everything that we need now this is just one example scenario of um what you may have to deal with in a environment and this is a very realistic scenario but i say all of this to say that in cybersecurity or as a psych analyst you have to have that environment you have to have that why or hmm mentality and be able to dig deeper and know where to look um knowing about the different platforms where you can gain information about a file or activity payload whatever the case may be or a threat actor group and knowing how to correlate that with what's happening in your environment and seeing if seeing if if all of these things line up to be able to for you to be able to come to a conclusion about what's happening and um i think i talked a little bit about this before but that's really that's really the mentality of a sock analyst being able to build a picture build a story and tell it you know to the point to where you can let whoever needs to know this information you can let them know what's going on or you know if you don't have any mechanisms in place to be able to detect malicious activity this can be the thing that shuts a business down and if a business suffers from a major breach they deal with a lot of different customer uh customer um, information that's not only going to hurt the bottom line it's going to hurt the um public trust that we have in certain companies like for example i'm not going to say the name but there is a certain password manager that has been breached multiple times and i was looking for a password manager and um i was like you know what i'm not going to use that password manager because i've seen that they've been you know they've been compromised before and data has been stolen before so i'm just one person but there are a lot of people who care about their sensitive data and you know people don't want their information to be stolen so i just wanted to give a quick video about like the importance of you know cultivating that investigative mindset as a sock analyst um, being able to tell a story um, being able to correlate data and it, it gets a lot deeper than what i mentioned i just gave a quick short scenario but it gets a lot deeper than that and you know i just wanted to make a quick video about that to help you guys out um i actually want to i actually want to um recreate this entire scenario in my home lab and then make a video and put it out because i want to show you step by step on what i would do if i was investigating something like that from start to finish um but again this is just a quick video um thank you for liking commenting, and subscribing um if you um are interested you should check out my home lab series where i talk about building a home lab and i have two videos out now part one and part two um they're on my uh, page feel free to check those out let me know what you think and if you have any video recommendations let me know in the comments below um again i ask that you like comment and subscribe that really helps out the channel and yeah so thank you peace